Hello, my name is Carlos Martins and I'm a student at the University of Minho, Portugal. So, today I'm going to present a paper entitled Electric Vehicle Battery Charger with Vehicle-to-Vehicle -vehicle B2V Operation Mode. For a better understanding, the paper presentation was divided into five parts. First one, introduction. Second one, adopted vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle topology, system parameters, computational simulations, and conclusions. As we know, electric vehicles are nothing new among us. I've been in existence for over 115 years. But only in the last few years they have presented themselves as a viable alternative to internal combustion engines, vehicles, presented as benefits. Zero CO2 emissions, plumbing tanks, does not use fossil fuels and have high efficiency. However, they also have some disadvantages like low range, few charging stations, high charging time, and having high price. Through the past years, the internal combustion engines vehicles represent about 10% of the total greenhouse emissions every year. And for that reason, it is a big concern to society to try to reduce that in every way as possible. Electric mobility, a growing concept associated with means of transportation, presents itself as an asset to mitigate the problem. However, for electric mobility actively contribute to the mitigation of this problem, the main means that support it also need to be in constant evolution, contributing to a greater acceptance of electric and hybrid vehicles by society. Thanks to the exponential growth in sales of electric and hybrid vehicles in the last 10 years, according to the Electric Vehicles 3030 campaign to target establish for the number of existing electric vehicles and hybrid electric vehicles until 2030 will be 250 million cars. Now is present the adopted vehicle-to-vehicle -to -vehicle topology. A power transfer between two electric vehicles is a strong option to address the present problems, namely the operation mode presented as vehicle-to-vehicle. -vehicle. In the traditional topology, the power transfer is carried out using four conversion stages, two stages for each electric vehicle, which is based in the combination of vehicle-to-grid and grid-to-vehicle operation modes, with one electric vehicle operating as an energy provider and the other as an energy receiver. In the present topology, the power transfer can be performed using four or two conversion stages, being natural, more efficient if only two conversion stages are used. Now is present the system's parameters. First, the converter adopted to simulate each electric vehicle will be present on the size of the bidirectional DC DC converter. For topology to be implemented relies on the non isolated buck boost converter, which changes its operation mode depending on the semiconductor that is being switched. As can be seen in the present image, the connection between the two non-isolated bulk boost converters through the DC link of which one give rise to a non-isolated bidirectional split P bulk boost DC DC converter. And on the follow table is possible to see all the components values adopted to the bidirectional split P bulk boost DC DC converter. 
to give simulation as real as possible for a port transfer between the batteries of an electric vehicle and charging and discharging process. The battery model adopted in this paper to perform computational simulation is a Tevna battery model. This battery model considers the dynamic operation of the batteries during the charging and discharging process of an electric vehicle, which is enough to validate the present vehicle-to-vehicle power transfer. The parameters adopted to simulate the Tevna battery model are presented in the right side of the table. For the last, two tables are presented showing the operation modes and minimum and maximum nominal values of the system to perform the computational simulations. Now, the results obtained in the performance of the computer simulations are present. Firstly, in this image it is possible to see the results of the P control technique applied to the charging process responsible for controlling the voltage and the current in the DC link. In the image on the left side, it's possible to verify that the DC link voltage is controlled to 400 voltage, and it only suffered two voltage disturbance during the charging process. The first one is related to the start of the charging process, started after DC link reached 400 voltage, and the second one, the charging is finished. The image on the right side portrays the current presence in the connection between the two electric vehicles during the power transfer, in the same way as in voltage, two disturbances are visible in its value, represented the beginning and the end of the power transfer. According to the nominal operation values and conditions defined previously in mode 1, the charging process has been applied to vehicle 2 and the charging process to vehicle 1. During the charging process, it is possible to see the beginning of vehicle battery 2 charging process at 0.01 seconds with a value of 200 voltage and constant current and finish when it reaches 300 voltage at 0.113 seconds. During 0.108 seconds and 0.113 seconds, the charging process went from constant current to constant voltage, being terminated when the current reached about 0 amperes. On the other hand, vehicle battery 1 start the charging process with a value of 300 voltage and finish with 290 voltage. Considering the charging process method adopted is constant current with a charging current of 10 amperes being defined, it is possible to verify that the charging current will increase as the battery voltage drops while that charging current remains constant through the entire process. The charging and discharging current has a slightly ripple peak-to-peak -peak value of 1700 mA. Now, in mode 2, respecting the same operation condition but different value for energy transfer as in mode 1, Vehicle battery 2 starts charging process at 0.015 seconds with a mean value of 214 voltage and it finish when it reaches 300 voltage at 0.076 seconds. The same process happens during 0.05 seconds and 0.08 seconds as in mode 1 when the charging process went from constant current to constant voltage. Vehicle battery 1 has lower voltage than vehicle battery 2 and starts the discharging process with 200 voltage and finish with 190 voltage. 
Compare the meaning value of charge and the charge currents obtained in mo with mode 1. It is possible to verify they have the same charge current than the parents previously defined. But the charge current has increased in mode 2 because of the battery of electric vehicle 1 has lower voltage. Comparing the current ripple with mode 1, it is possible to verify that it's equal. Although to the charge current of vehicle battery 1 value are higher. Now, in mode 3, the power transfer will be performed from vehicle 2 to vehicle 1. The charging process is then applied to vehicle battery 1, while to vehicle battery 2 is applied to the charging process. In this mode, as the voltage applied to each battery is equal to mode 1 in their respective charging and the charger process, the results obtained for one of the process will be equal to mode 1. Similarly to the previous mode 1, the current of vehicle battery 1 and vehicle battery 2 as the same average voltage and the peak to peak ripple. Finally, the results obtained in operation mode 4 are being analyzed, proving the function of all defined modes. It is possible to verify that the results obtained are equal to mode 2, as expected. This image portrays the charging process and the charging process verifying the power transfer from vehicle battery 2 to vehicle battery 1. It is also possible to verify that the obtaining result present the same behavior as mode 2, which will be expected since the voltage defined for each battery are the same, although the duration of the power transfer is different. Finally, the conclusions drawn from this paper are presented. With this computational simulation, it was possible to validate it to propose a topology for battery charger with vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle operation mode. It was possible to validate in simulation the power converter and the different controls techniques applied. Regarding the vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle power transfer, it was possible to validate all defined operation modes in different conditions. The defined operation modes were also intended to prove the bidirectional power transfer with different voltage values assigned to the batteries. Now I finish my presentation. Thank you for your attention and I wish you all a good day.